This model of the dam resembles the lake water at the top of the dam. It moves slowly and looks calm. It is all in one place as a mass. As the water moves around the dam, you will see the pace starts to pick up and the water looks more rapid. It comes around the sides and meets together in a narrow stream. A dam is a wall of solid material that blocks the flow of a river. By blocking the river, a larger reservoir of water is created. This water can then be stored and later released through an outlet pipe to supply the city with water. The dam must be completely sealed in order to work properly. The dam at Salt Creek blocks off a 30 mile watershed that is home to uh, many fish and insects. The dam is only, only covers one fourth mile. None of the species living in the watershed are harmed by the presence of the dam. Removing the dam may improve dissolved oxygen levels. However, the beauty of the dam, which draws in 100,000 tourists annually, would be destroyed. A dam's purpose is to be a barrier to hold back water and raise its level, resulting reservoir being used in the generation of electricity or as a water supply. Me and the rest of the company realized the pros of keeping the dam outweigh the cons of keeping the dam. One big pro of keeping the Salt Creek Dam is that the dam collects extra water to generate electricity. Dams also provide enhanced environment protection, such as the retention of hazardous materials and detrimental sedimentation. The Salt Creek Dam also controls floods by controlling the water flow of the creek. Keeping the dam will also be more cost effective. Although with the Salt Creek Dam we do have to pay for maintenance of the dam, taking out the dam would result in a big payment larger than the maintenance, and we would lose all benefits of keeping the dam, including less water supply and less gain of electricity. The company is happy to say with conducting all of our tests, the smarter decision is to keep the dam. We have estimated that the total cost of the removal of the dam would be around $100,000 due to the fact that, it would need around tw that we would need around 20 constru construction workers to work approximately tw 200 hours and calculating the average wage of a construction worker we would be at around 62000 alone for just the construction workers. Not only that but we would need to implement a barricade which would cost around 10000 to set up and create. We would need this to be able to block off the water so that our construction workers could get to the dam and destroy it. We would also need around $20,000 to rent out multiple cranes, waterproof suits, and an assortment of different types of destruction tools because without these types of tools we would not be able to break the dam or remove any of the parts that we have broken. Not only that, but the, the barricade would also create a lot of runoff onto the, to the banks of the river, so we would need around $10,000 to clean up the runoff. and. With these types of costs, we believe that the costs do not outweigh the rewards.